What it is today, it's hump day. I hope that makes it just a little bit better as that alarm clock goes off. I'm Christy Fallman today for Robin Mead. Thank you so much for being here. New now today, House lawmakers in South Carolina could vote on a bill that would make it easier for riders to identify rideshare drivers. And if this passes, Uber and Lyft vehicles would have to display those illuminated signs to mark exactly who they are. Seattle police are hunting for a man accused of sexually assaulting a woman who thought he was her rideshare driver for the shooting death of rapper Nipsey Hussle. He's in custody now. Eric Holder was of here among the millions of people whose private information was exposed in these two major breaches. Uh, we're just trying to keep you safe here, as is Maribel. She's in for Jen with the very latest. Good morning, Maribel. All righty. Mm, not so much a warm welcome for Bryce Harper's return to our nation's capital. The boo birds were out. <laughs> yeah, Chris, wow, Andy. Chris, you know the Nationals fans. They had this night circled on their calendar <laughs> ever since Bryce yeah. Harper decided to leave them after 7th, May 14th. That's the NBA lottery, and we'll find out which team he's going to end up playing mm -hmm. for. I think he's going to be just fine. He'll, he's going to no be fine. No final four, but I think he's going to be just fine. Yeah. Thank you, Andy. I want to give you a little moment of sunshine here because, you know, we could all use a little moment of sunshine. Could we? Elementary school students surprise their custodian with a parade for his 80th birthday. Look at this. Right. What is wrong with him? Right. Why did they have to cancel this? Or so that's a big deal. It? Yes. And now we know it is very serious. It is very serious, but we first brought you the story and we were like, okay, there's a medical condition, but we don't know the specifics of that. Well, now we do have more information. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. So Mick Jagger. Congratulations to them. Yes. That's Congratulations. The Baby number two. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. So since we're talking about pregnancies, mm -hmm. I know we were talking uh, with you last week. It, this hospital in Maine, they have nine pregnant nurses. Guess what? There's a hospital in California that's one-upped them. They've got ten nurses expecting. In comments there from Gina Oriema saying that players uh, or coaches around the country now are afraid of their right. players because of all these stories that are coming out. It seems like, Chrissy, that the hard-nosed coaches like the Bobby Knights of the world, the oh, Greg God. Popoviches of the world. This might be the the, the end of those. The last of considering that we're of considering that. the trend we're having in sports these days mm. and society. It'll be interesting to see who responds to that. Other players, other coaches. I'm good to see that go side come that. out though, because we always see the other side that oh they're being too hard on them. Oh, Tom Izzo right. shouldn't be yelling at coaching. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, thank you, Andy. Right. So rock legend Mick Jagger. He is cardiologist Dr. David Montgomery from the Prevent Clinic is with us now. Thank you, doctor, for coming Absolutely. back. It's good to see you. Great to see you again. So not only uh, do we understand this is serious, but he's 75. Yeah. How much does that play a factor into this and help us understand um, the gravity of this? Yeah, so, you know, we don't know which of the four valves is abnormal in him, but we know that, you know, obviously with the surgery coming up this week that it's pretty serious. So. I, I know you have to speak in general terms, but what is a, a normal recovery time for something like that? Well, it really depends. I mean, there are procedures where they are inserting valves through a catheter. The, the whole valve and all its assets are in a sheath, and you sort of deploy the valve right into the area after going into the groin. Um, well, you leave the hospital in two or three days, and you recover. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at Mick Jagger and think, boy, has he lived the life. Yeah, you know, absolutely. He has, had, he has had a life a lot of people would like to live. Yeah. But... It can also be tough on your body, yes. you know, tough life, all the traveling, all that. Sure. So how much does that play a factor into what he might be going through now? Yeah, so lifestyle. We call it calcific mm. stenosis or, or tightening. And who knows if that's in fact what he had. At his age or age of the first that was put in? Because this is a replacement, we understand. Yeah, so we're replacing his, his current valve, valve. Is, is what I understand. That, you know, so we call it a replacement when so we're... So the age of that current valve... Um, have anything to do with it as well. Yeah, right. Okay. There. All, right. Yeah. All right, Dr. Montgomery, we appreciate you being here. Absolutely, it's always fun. Thank you, always good to see you. Good to see you. Sure. Economy class. Ultra basic economy. Can you bring a bag with that? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but literally, they're already so small, the seats. Yeah. Surely they can't be smaller, right? All righty, let's talk about Thunder Superstar, Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Got a little emotional. He did. It was an emotional night for Russell Westbrook. You know, he grew up in Los Angeles, and he was actually really good friends with rapper. At least 80 women say they were secretly recorded 
while in labor and delivery rooms in California. And they may represent just a small fraction of the women affected here. Lynn Smith with, uh, on the story is here with more of this. I'll tell you what. <laughs> when I read this headline today, I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Right? It's We've all been there. Yeah, all that's of us. Bizarre. It is the most intimate moment. It's sure. the birth of your child, Definitely. right? Definitely. Yeah. So imagine finding out that you and your most private parts are being secretly recorded. I mean, you can imagine the outrage, right? These are eight, and we regret it may have caused you distress. Distress. But will they be held liable? Coming up at 1 p.m. Eastern time, I'm gonna talk to two of the women who are suing this hospital. They're a part of the lawsuit, and they're gonna describe what it's like to find out uh -uh. that these tapes are out there. And then, what has happened to these recordings now? Who had access to them at the time? Yeah. Right. That's all on the story yeah. coming up at 1 p.m. Eastern Listen, time. there are parts of me there that I don't even want to see. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to see any of it. Really? The other, no. like, hey, do you want to watch? I know. No. It's a beautiful moment. And my husband moment, didn't want right. to either. Right. But the <laughs> first thing moment. that comes to my mind is, how dare you? If this is sure. true, how dare you? The, as you said, very personal, the most personal. Really is. All right. Lynn, thank you. Thank We're you. To, to see more of that. Okay, so you got to see these next few videos that we have for you. Melissa is talking about this police officer who, the police say a, a guy stole an ambulance while paramedics we're still inside treating, treating a patient. A patient. Yeah, Are that's you right. kidding me? You can't make this stuff up, really. I mean, it's 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 one of those things that makes your jaw drop because you're like, this can't be real. But police say the crew was in the back when a man climbed into the driver's seat. Then <laughs> two and a half hours, but look what she did. Talk yeah. about persistence. Oh, really sweet. Yeah, paying it forward. Being yes. just good Absolutely. Kind. Paying it forward, <laughs> yes. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. welcome. So a school district in Indiana is providing meals for kids in need even when they're not in school. This is a pilot program that the school's